Hey guys, thank you for tuning in Tiki Nits. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to uninstall a software or application from your Windows operating system using command prompt. So we basically know there are multiple ways to uninstall a software. The, the basic way would be going to control panel, programs and features, selecting the software, right click and install, or you'll be going to settings, apps to uninstall it. Uh, however, there are some cases where we won't be able to uninstall the application using this basic methods. That time you can use this command prompt as a medium to uninstall your softwares. And when you do it via command prompt, it basically force uninstalls your software, whichever you try to do. Now without any delay, let's get into the video. Before that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe, click on the bell icon, like, share and comment. Let's go into the video. So as I was saying, the basic method to uninstall a software is you'll go to control panel, select a software and right click uninstall. Or from Windows 10 operating system, you can go to settings and then click on apps, select the software that you want to uninstall, click on here and click uninstall. Sometimes there are chances if your software file is corrupted or if your software related DLL files are corrupted, the software will not uninstall from your control panel or from this apps option that time you can use command prompt to force uninstall the software for that open your command prompt as administrator go to search and type cmd right click and select run as administrator once your command prompt is opened as administrator type the command wmic this command takes you to root command line interface Okay, so we don't want to go deep, I will just let you know what commands to use. The next command you have to use is PRODUCT product get name. So once you enter this command and execute, it will show you all the softwares that has been installed in this PC. It might take a little time based upon the list of softwares, so please do wait until you get the proper list. So here it gives me the list of software that has been installed in this PC. For example, I will try to uninstall VMware Player software from my PC. So you got to find out where uh, VMware Player is available here. Okay, so I see VMware Player software available in this list. So just copy this uh, name. So while using this command prompt, you have to use the name as it is in this list. Please be cautious, if there is any typo, it will not work. So just copy the name and we are ready to type the next command. The next command would be PRODUCT product where name is equal to open apostrophe and paste the name which you have copied before and close the apostrophe and space call uninstall. I will repeat the command again product where name is equal to open apostrophe paste the software name which you have uh, copied before vmware player post the apostrophe space call space uninstall and click on enter now it gives you a prompt to say your confirmation and again uh, as it is a command line interface it might take a little time so now it is asking me a confirmation the confirmation answer would be Y or N. Y denotes to yes and N denotes to no. So I will just type Y and click on enter. So before that I will show you my control panel. You can see here VMware player is available. Let's wait for a bit for the system to execute the command in the backend. Based upon the software size it might take anywhere between 10 seconds to 5 minutes. If it is a small software, it will be done as soon as possible. If it is a huge software like VMware Player, it would take a little time. So we got a result. It is saying method execution successful. 
so if you receive this message it means that your software has been successfully uninstalled now let's go to the control panel and cross check I will refresh it yeah as you see the software VMware player is completely uninstalled from this mission so this command prompt will help you in most cases where the manual uninstallation is not possible or it gives any error most of the times when you uninstall softwares like Microsoft Office or Chrome it, it usually gives you error stating that some file is missing and uninstallation could not proceed in that case you can go for this command line interface to uninstall your software from your PC or laptop and also few malicious software which is really a risk for your PC will not get uninstalled using this control panel method so in that case also you can use command line interface to uninstall your software i hope this video have helped you in some way please do subscribe my channel until next video it's bye from techinits thank you